welcome to the chapter food this slide presents the overview of the chapter learning objectives by the end of this chapter you will be able to understand the importance of food explain the various ingredients of food Know the important sources of food. Explain the production of honey. Know what do animals eat. Describe the classification of animals based on their food habits. Introduction Before entering into the chapter, follow the instructions shown on the screen. Click each tab to know more. In lower classes we learned that all living beings need food. Food provides us energy for doing different activities and helps us to grow and remain healthy. Do you know about the components and sources of food? How the food is cooked? What are the materials required for preparing the food which we eat? How does the food gets its taste? how honey is produced what do animals eat the classification of animals based on their food habits let us try to answer these questions and learn more about food food abhi what are your favorite food items sir i like laddu chicken biryani idli sambar puri and potato curry okay daily we eat different types of food materials but some food items like rice dal vegetables and curd are common in major parts of andhra pradesh but on special occasions we eat a variety of food items do you know about the components and their sources of food and how they are cooked No sir okay it may be difficult to you to answer because generally we are interested in eating food rather than about other things such as the material we need to prepare potato curry or brinjal curry though we take food for our health and energy it is also important to know the materials required for the preparation of the food which we eat So now let us discuss the ingredients processing and sources of food in detail food ingredients materials required to prepare different kinds of food items are termed as ingredients in order to prepare a dish two or more than two ingredients are needed example 1 to prepare boiled rice rice and water are used thus rice and water are said to be the ingredients for boiled rice example 2 when you purchase the packed items like food biscuits chocolates or any soft drink then you will find their ingredients mentioned on their packets joseph Do you know from where these ingredients come? Yes sir. We obtain vegetables and fruits from plants whereas eggs, milk and meat from animals. Okay, good Joseph. Now perform a drag and drop activity for the ingredients listed. Find out the source of each ingredient. If it is a plant, mark P or an animal A or something else E. Okay sir Identifying sources of food Click on the correct circle for the respective sources of ingredients If it is a plant click on the circle corresponding to P or if it is an animal click on the circle corresponding to A or something else click on the circle corresponding to E 
Generally, we obtain honey from honeybees. There are a number of animals from which we get different types of food. We get meat from sheep and goat. Hens and roosters are used as meat or chicken. Eggs are obtained mostly from hens. We obtain different food items from plants. We eat different parts of plants like leaf of spinach, cabbage and coriander plant, fruits of tomato and drumstick plant, flower of cauliflower. Table salt is a mineral which is obtained from the sea. We obtain cooking oil from plants such as sunflower, groundnut, etc. We obtain sugar from stem of the sugarcane plant. Rahim, do you know what type of ingredients are used to prepare biryani? Yes, sir. To make biryani, we use different types of ingredients like ilachi, lavang, biryani leaves, dalchini, pepper, cashew nuts, almonds, etc. Okay, now let us do an activity to identify the parts of the plants which are used as food. There are two columns given. The left column consists of the names of different plants. Drag the parts of the plants into the corresponding rows of the right column. Drag and drop the respective parts of the plant that we eat onto the given table. Explanation Generally, we use different parts of the plants for our food. Of these leaves, roots, seeds and fruits are most widely used when compared to stems and flowers. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Here, let us perform an activity to observe how seeds get sprouted. Click each tab to know more. Take a few moong or Bengal gram seeds. Soak a few Bengal gram seeds in water and leave it aside for one day. On the next day, drain the excess water completely and cover the seeds in wet cloth. Leave them aside for one day. After one day, open the seeds carefully and observe them. Growth of small whitish structures is observed out of the seeds. The growth of small whitish structures indicates that the seeds have sprouted. Wash these sprouted seeds and eat them. These sprouted seeds can also be eaten as snacks by boiling them. If you want a good taste, add some spices and get tasty snacks to eat. Let us study how honey is produced from bees. We all are aware of honey and all of us love to eat it. But do you know how it is produced? Well, let us learn about it. Generally, you might have observed a beehive on a tree where so many bees keep buzzing. These bees collect nectar from flowers and convert it into honey and store it in their hive. Later, the bee then takes the nectar back to the hive and drops the honey into the bee wax comb. 
Bee wax comb is hexagonal in shape made of wax produced by the bees. Flowers and their nectar are available only during a part of the year. So bees store this nectar throughout the year. When we find such a beehive on a plant, we collect the food stored by the bees as honey. Here let us perform an activity to know what different animals eat. Click each tab to know more. Observe different types of animals in your surroundings. Observe what they do usually to eat and how they obtain their food. Note the observations in the tabular column. The table on the screen gives information about what different animals eat. From the above activity, we have observed that different animals eat different types of food. Some animals like goats, cows and sheep eat common food. Look at the given table carefully and drag and drop the options onto it respectively. Classification of animals based on their food. Herbivores, Carnivores, Omnivores. Click each tab to know more. Herbivores. Herbivores are the animals which depend only on plants for food like leaves, flowers, fruits or even wood. Examples. Deer, Sheep, horses, rabbits, snails, etc. Parrot which eats fruits and nuts of a plant can also be called a herbivore. Carnivores Carnivores are the animals which depend only on other animals for their food. A carnivore is a predator because it has to find and catch its prey. Some carnivores, such as wolves, hunt in a group called a pack. The eagle is a carnivorous bird. It flies high in the sky looking for animals. Omnivores Omnivores are the animals which depend on both plants and animals for food. Examples of omnivores are bear, hen, human beings, etc. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Select a suitable answer from group B for group A and drop it in the bracket provided against A. Keywords List of keywords are shown on the screen. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. Food provides us energy for doing different activities and helps us to grow and remain healthy. 
materials required to prepare different kinds of food items are termed as ingredients. People living in the same region have common food habits. The main sources of our food are plants and animals. Animals are classified into three types based on their food. They are herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Follow up work. Take up the following activities. Every day we eat different types of food items from morning to night. Discuss with your friends and collect the information about what food they had eaten yesterday. Record the information in the given table. List out some of the food items you like to eat and try to find out what materials are used to prepare them. What is your favorite cooked food? Find out how it is prepared. Write down the recipe in your notebook. Make a list of animals and insects from which we get food. List the animals which give us milk, meat and egg. List the animals which give us meat and egg. List the animals which give us milk and egg. List the animals which give us milk and meat. Observe the following animals in your surroundings. Find out how they get their food. Observe them every day for at least a week. Write whatever you have observed in your notebook and display it on your wall magazine. Spider in a web. Hen in the garden. Butterfly on a flower. Prepare a scrapbook of animals and separate them into carnivores, omnivores and herbivores. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter food.